Hi Carol, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Just want to recap on our lesson today. So if you run through your swing here, like I said earlier, I think we need at some point need to work on your head uh, and where your eyes look. But at the moment we'll leave that alone. Okay, so we can definitely see that your head is is moving on this sort of red line. And when we get to the top of the swing, you literally are looking over here. It looks like so. We'll fix that at some point. The thing we needed to work on really was your transition or your downswing. So comparing you to Michelle Wee, I know. Uh, She's obviously uh, maybe a little bit more athletic at the moment, but if we keep an eye on your foot, there's no reason why you can't get the same athleticism as she's got. So when you're starting to come down, I asked you out on the range where you feel sort of most of your weight is, okay? And you definitely said this sort of right leg, where if we look at Michelle, when she starts to come down, we're going to see that you definitely say now her left leg. So that's the feeling we had to get. So and the one thing I wanted to work on really was your toe. If we look at your toe coming into impact, to me, you can see your heel spins. OK, now that's telling us that there's no weight is going onto your toe or your shoe. And what that's doing is if we look at your hip line. OK, so we draw a line there halfway down. We should see that your hip goes past that red line I've drawn. And we can see quite clearly yours moves backwards. Where if we look at Michelle halfway down there we draw a line on her, on her hip okay we see that she moves tries to move or stays on that line okay so she does move quite a long way from the top of her swing we draw a line there okay we can see that when she moves forward she moves onto the other line okay where with you carol we can see that when you get to the top of your swing don't really move forward so how we fix this, we, I want you to do to feel that you get pushed into your toe of your shoe here, your left shoe. That got the feeling there. And then the next thing we worked on was your hands. If we look here at your hands at impact or just past impact, we can see we've got quite broken angles. OK, so we can see the shaft there and your wrist and your arm. If we look at Michelle's there, as she comes through. We can see there it's pretty much all straight line. Left arm's nice and straight. Right arm's nice and straight. But yours is quite broken. So... All I want you to do is actually extend the club. So once you've got the feeling of actually pushing your weight onto that toe and extending, you actually started to rip it and hit it really quite good. So I, the way we did it was half a swing, really push into that left toe and extend the hands, and that will get that working for me. Then we took you over to the short game area, and in the bunker it's exactly the same thing. You were tending to sort of back up of it. Setup was terrific, Carol, but you was uh, swinging back onto that right foot rather than getting that weight into the left toe. And exactly the same with the pitch shots and the chip shots. Just make sure that weight goes into the toe and then you turn around that. So we can really see here, we've got to extend them arms, get them straight like Michelle's there on the right uh, and make a massive difference. Thank you.